Oh yeah! Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jacer. Uh, in the previous video, we've uh, covered how we uh, could use refetch, uh, use fetch query to fetch the GraphQL data without uh, loading the whole uh, query, right? So in this video, we'd like to uh, cover how we could refetch the fragment, not the query itself. So here's the example of what we are going to do. Um, so we open this tool and uh, our to-do app so when we are updating this one like the first one and we like this one to be able this specific to-do item to could be refetchable so we add a button here to refetch it okay let's add a button here so that's in our to-do actually okay let's see the button is here this is the destroy button uh, we create a new button and then we uh, say console log to do we need to we'd like to refetch it the idea is the idea is when i add, update someone like uh like like this to do we could click this fresh button to refetch it so yeah that's it so obviously we have uh, defined our uh, data dependency here. So this to the component actually just want this piece of data, right? On a whole data tree, we just want this fragment of this whole data tree. So how we should do it? Actually, Relay has offered us this uh, um, as a util function called use a refetchable fragment. Let's use it. When we use this uh, use refetchable fragment, obviously it says, okay, now this fragment could be refetchable, but actually it, it, it just say this fragment is refetchable, uh, but in the internally, uh, the relay will build us this new query, uh, which we could just uh, refetch this query uh, to update the data for us. So it's kind of like, uh, like say, how to say, uh, a syntax sugar, I guess. Okay, so now, Rather than a to do, we have this refetch method. This is use refetchable fragment, and we need to actually annotate this fragment to say refetchable, and uh, it has a it has should have a query name. Let's say it is a to do refresh query. By updating this, we need to yarn. Uh, relay to rebuild the relay query. Okay, and we actually got an error. It says missing required argument query name. Oh, it's not query, but we query name. Query name. Let's uh, rerun, and we can see that it says uh, we got an error. It says invalid use of refreshable uh, fragment to do only supported our fragments on the refreshable type on node interfaces. Remember, actually, we met this error in a previous video. Uh, about that pagination, right? Um, actually, uh, to enable us to refetch, uh, we need to actually refetch something that has an ID, global ID in it. So if we take a look at our GraphQL schema um, and the type user, you can see that type user implement node, all right? The node means that it has an ID in it. So this ID is big ID, it's a global one, uh, but our to-do, it doesn't have this implemented interface, so uh, we uh, relay says, okay, you cannot uh, refresh on this one. Okay, um, to support it, we just add the interface, right? This is a GraphQL user, it has implemented these interfaces. We add it to GraphQL to do, yeah, add it. And then we could say, update the schema. Yeah, now in a GraphQL, we can to do implement node. Now I think it should be fine. Great, it's fine. Now, but actually there's some error. Yeah, the your errors. We just uh, I don't want to spend time just fixing this stuff. Uh, anyway, now okay. Uh, in a to do, we've already set up. It's refreshable. Now we could actually just call this refresh function. 
really will just use this new query to fetch it for us. So let's refetch it. When we click it, make some error, it says fragment node has some property. Uh huh, it says what? Initial field, fetch variable. Okay, uh, actually, the fetch, we need some variables in it. There's no need. The default variable is the props to do is the reference to it. So we just are passing it with the empty one. Um, the also, just as the fetch query, we need to pass the fetch. Uh, fetch policy or something? Uh, some policy, I don't remember. Policy. Oh, it's app. Fetch policy. Okay, we want this data to be fetched from the network. So we just set network only. Let's do it. Or fetch it. Oh, error. Fetch policy is not defined. Hmm. Oh, there's a typo here. Still, we get an error because it says cannot get ID of now. Let's see the network. Actually, the GraphQL you sent, you can see that uh, this is the payload. Uh, query to do, refresh query, and then the new query we've added and with a node ID in it. So we can actually open our GraphQL to to debug. We can see that in the previous in the preview, it did actually got a node now. Uh, but actually, it is defined somewhere. Uh, you can see that in a, in the schema, the node is node field. In this node field, we can see that if it is a JSON one, we fetch user. If not, we just fetch the to do. This is for demo purposes. We should not do this. But uh, this actually is array, right? Uh, we actually made some mistakes before. We get the first element. So yeah, I think it's fine now. Refetch it. And then, yeah, you can see that we only fetched this piece of data with the to do, which has the ID in it. Yeah. And now let's see if it is working. We update the first one to 111 and then we refetch it. Great, it's uh, updated, right? Because in this query, we got node and ID to the zero, so this will be updated. Let's give it a try again. Two. But there, uh, let's make it a little time lag. You can see that actually the load indicator is uh, displayed for a short of amount of time. That is super not cool, right? Let's make it more, um, more. Let's uh, await. Add some delay. One second. Yeah. Okay, now let's check it to one on one. Update. You can see that loading is here. This is not cool. Actually, we would add, act, only want this part to be updated, right? So that's why we need the uh, the uh, transition, right? It needs a transition. Or we could just fetch the query for us. Uh, we could actually fetch the query and set it. It's totally fine. We've already covered that in the previous video. Uh, if you are interested, please uh, just to search for it. And here, actually, rather than use this fetch, refetch, we could actually call the fetch query from from the React relay and pass in the uh, the variables uh, of this uh, of this query. To do refresh query and then fetch the data and just set it to the store. It's totally fine. And today we don't want to do it. We want to add, use the transition uh, in a new React. So let's see the package. And React actually is in the previous version, which is doesn't allow us to use the transition. So we add the React newest version, which is still in alpha, which is uh, 18. Yarn at DOM at alpha. Now we have this newest version of React. Uh, pretty cool. 
and uh, yeah in the app here when we are render it's not something different it's react dot uh, dom it's uh, create root this is passing the element and then render yeah this is it and in our to do now we could use just use the trans start transition right so we import the start transition and wrap the uh, function the callback to this start transition because you will cause the root to be suspended the root the dumb will not actually not be updated until the uh, network is done so yeah I think this is work yarn start let's give it a shot let's update the um, change it to one two three and then we refresh it one two three pretty cool huh we don't show the load indicator in here it's pretty nice and maybe we can do better uh, let's just try to use the add some indicators in the refresh button here okay guns is pending start transition oh the first one is start transition I guess start transition is pending use transition timeout let's just set it to three second and the import this use transition great and then yeah it's pending refresh okay uh, if it is pending we say da 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 not uh, we use the word refresh and disabled we disable it disable equals is pending cool let's retry um this is one two three four. Ooh, no okay is pending this is now is pending ah the first one is is pending shit Okay, uh, let's say it was uh, one, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay, refresh it. Loading, refresh it. Pretty cool, huh? So this is the power of React. Okay, that's all for this video. We've covered how we can refresh a specific fragment with this, uh, with this relay support for this refresh fragment, and it will create us the new query specifically for these data dependencies. Uh, with this, uh, just uh, by using this at refreshable uh, annotation. Remember, this is only working on the node which has the global ID in it. And uh, yeah, and because because for fragment, it will cause loading the specific fragment will cause the suspend on this component. Uh, we could use this suspense component to wrap it uh, to shoot in the load indicator, or if you prefer, you can use this transition mode. Uh, use the transition to make the uh, make the UI changes less intrusive and make it most make it much smoother for the users for better user experience. Okay, that's so all for this video. Hope it helps. Um, see you next time. Bye bye.